I need to talk. Uh, okay. Where do you want me? There's a park I go to sometimes. And um, when? Early in the morning, say about 10 o'clock. So what do you want? Exactly how much money are you looking for? Well obviously, you know, in order for the kids to be properly housed and, and fed. Just give me the figure. A million pounds? <laughs> Mr. Phillips, this is too much. Of course not, my dear. Children are our future. We must not forget that. <laughs> we'll hold a party in your honour and invite the press. We'll tell the world how kid you are. No, no, it's okay. I insist that we keep this between ourselves. All that I ask is that you wear this. Consider it a present for all of your hard work at the company. Excuse me. Did you get all you wanted? And you have all the information from our source? I also have this. It's from the warehouse. Everything Amy told us, it's all there. Excellent, Louise. You may go now. Thank you, Dad. Marcus, a little lightning vigilante problem has been resolved. Prepare for phase two. I'll meet you at the usual place in a few weeks. What is it, Mullen? Well, Chief, it's uh, about that little twerp that the dog's caught. Just another little punk. Far better, Chief. We've got him. Oh. Stephen, Stephen. Just can't keep out of trouble, can we? I ain't seen nothing. So you be telling us everything then? No, I just said that. Oh, forget what? it, Mullen. He's not worth it. Stevie, what's going on? What? You're not taking me to the station? I think we just do this right here. And if we want, get you a nice, 
comfy cell to sleep in. Or a really shit one. It's up to you, boy. Well, I ain't saying nothing till I see my lawyer. You've not got a lawyer. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. Well, can you at least take these handcuffs off? I won't run, I swear. All right, Stephen, let's try again. What's going on? Uh, none. I was seeing a friend. I was going to go on holiday. I didn't think that was a crime. It is when your pockets are stuffed with Class A drugs. Well, um, well nobody told me that. <laughs> you want to talk? Fine, let's talk. Look at that. Look what your goddamn dogs did. They almost ripped my arm off. Just doing what they're told to do. Just like you, Stevie. We know you work for Phillips. So what little tasks have you been performing for him this week? Uh, nothing! It's the truth! All right, Stephen, let's talk business. You're looking at five years for this. Plus, we can put you down for other things. Slap on your previous convictions. You are staring into the abyss, my friend. Tell us what you want to know. We'll sort something out. A nice comfy cell. And a reduced sentence? Give me five minutes. <coughs> Jason, sorry. Scare me. Sorry, Amy. Don't mean to. It's okay. I guess that helps you. You know. Scare away the bad men. Show the way. Is it? Is that really necessary? Yes. Sorry if it bothers you. It's fine. I just never know if it's because you don't want to hurt me or because I smell or something. You don't smell. Good. As long as it's nothing personal. So you wanted to talk? Yeah. Let's... <laughs> How many leather jackets do you have? <laughs> you want to talk? Let's talk. Okay, okay. It's just... You saved my life twice now and I've never been in that situation before. We've been spending a lot of time together recently. Whenever you're hurt, I'm there to patch you up and... And I'm very grateful. I know. I know you are. You're a mystery to me, Jason McKenzie. It's distracting me. I'm sorry. Hey. Please don't apologise. I just want to know more about you. About your powers, I guess. I mean... You never did tell me. Well... I didn't know you before. I didn't know if I could trust you. I pulled a big bit of glass at your back. I think if there was an issue of trust, you used to have it in you. Okay, so I can trust you. Good. As long as that's sorted. Now tell me, how does it work? Your powers? Well, it's simple. I guess. Every time I touch someone, even for a second, I get a spark of electricity from when I touch them. And then you get a vision of them dying? Not all the time. I don't always die in the vision. Sometimes they can just get you know, really bad enough. So, every time you held back my attacker, you got a vision of him? If I fight, it's like a build up of energy. Every time I hit or get hit, the energy builds up and it charges, pulses, like a shockwave. And it usually does a trick. Usually. Yeah, yeah, usually. Does it hurt? Kind of like my brain's in the microwave. <coughs> what shit isn't talking? Right, tell us. What's Phillips up to? What's he planning? Well, talk to me, Stevie! Something you can't possibly imagine. I know. 
what is it then? New kind of drug? Sex slaves? Come on, Stevie, make it easy on yourself. <coughs> Tell us! It's big. It's so big, you can't possibly imagine it. Right, I want names, locations, times, dates, all of it. Right now. No chance. You're just going to have to lock me up. Interrogation, ma'am. Mullen, get out of my sight. Now! Come with me, now. Wipe that pathetic grin from your face. I'll deal with you in a moment. If you'll let me explain... Shut it. That was not interrogation. That was pathetic. Now, Charles, I know you've had family issues, and I respect that. But I think you need some time off. I'm fine. Can I please get back to interrogating my suspect? No. That's the only connection to Phillips we have. We can't stop now. The closest person to Phillips is Frank Stone, oh, not his Christ. twin. I will not get within ten feet of Frank Stone. That's the connection we have over there. I can break him. Enough. We're letting them go. With all due respect, Superintendent, that's complete and utter bollocks! And another thing. You're supposed to discipline Mullen. If I don't see any evidence of that within a fortnight, I'm sending him back to Barlini. So what made you want to be a reporter? I want people to know the truth. We live in a world of lies, supposedly to protect us. <laughs> but surely if we know the truth, we're better equipped to protect ourselves. So you think you'll make it? <laughs> I handed in a story last week and it got committed to the Clyde Reporter. <laughs> if they like it, I could get an internship. So what's the story about? Credit card scams and stuff. Ah, well, sounds interesting. <laughs> I'll better be going. Why? I can't have this life, Amy. Why the hell not? Just something I was told. What? Apparently I've got some sort of destiny. And that's what you believe? I believe in doing what's right. Jason, you can't live this life forever. You'll be killed. Nobody lives forever, Amy. I can't be here for you if you live this life.
Neil Phillips to this. This is important. Why are you going to be impregnant here? 